Open the TIA portal software. Create a new project and name the file. Add a new PLC to the software. Configure some attributes to enable the PLC to connect with C-Sharp. Create a database block to connect the PLC with C-Sharp. Here, I will create two tags with two formats, bool and integer. Don't forget to disable the optimize function for the data block. After compiling, the addresses of the tags will appear. Open the symbol factory software to export images in N format. Configure these attributes to ensure the best image quality. I will export two images for two states of the light. Choose N as the image format. For the motor, I will export three images for three different states. Export the image when the motor is off. Export the image when the motor is on. Export the image when the motor has an error. Now, we have images for different states of the devices. Open Visual Studio to design the SCADA. Create picture for the devices. Here, you need to select all picture.
Choose this property for better picture size. Do the same for the motor. Create a class to declare tags for the PLC. I will add two tags similar to the PLC. Create a class to display the status of the devices. You can use the code snippet I have prepared here to display the device status. If an error occurs, follow the software's recommendations to fix it. Double click on the form. This is the form load function. Declare the PLC with this code. We need to add a 7.NET first. If you don't have S7.NET, go to the course to download it. Create a timer to scan tag values. Set the scan time to 1 second. Start the timer when the PLC is connected with this code in the form load. Double-click on the timer. 
This is the timer's tag scan function. Use this code to display the device status. This code declares an images for the lamp. The symbol's ID is incorrect. Let's check the ID of the symbol in the main form. It's best to copy the ID of the symbol to avoid mistakes. This is the explanation of the device status display function. For devices with three states, it's the same. Here, you need to change the IP to the PLC's IP address. I'm using PLC SIM as a substitute for the actual PLC. Because it's PLC SIM need to change the IP to the PLC SIM's IP. Run the runtime to check the results. When changing the tag value on the PLC, the color of the symbol also changes accordingly.